Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is G Money Wall, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Bioshock Infinite Billiards Season Episode 2. I cut that right there because I was kind of going over my 20 minute mark, and plus, someone was knocking at the door, so I had to stop there for a moment. Hey, here. <clears throat> Enough about me uh, stopping everything. Let's continue. Oh, that opened by itself. Oh, I guess this was an arrow way. Fallacy and misdirection from those afraid to let the market take its natural course. Oh, he's in here. Who are you? First, a law gets bribery. Then, you'll want some fella in the Huh. He dropped funny. Oh, that's nice. I can use the same dot as many times as I want. Pick up everything we can find. Ammo. Ammo for my uh, hand cannon. Oh. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, really? Is that how much I could kill you up to? Free? Oh, that would have been a pissy-ass number. Let's see. Anything in the office? Oh. More hand cannon. <laughs> Again, I love. I just love this game. I love the Bioshocks. Kudos to the developers. Kudos to them. What? Oh, that's a bit. Oh, cutscene. Look, Suchong. That's the name you had me tell Atlas. Huh. I don't follow. Looks like this character, Suchong, has taken over the Silverfin restaurant. That's... That's where the tear was that I used when I first came to Rapture looking for Comstock. Hmm. Before this place was turned into a prison. But the first time you came to Rapture was in 1960. With Booker. When you drowned some... Over a year from now. Yeah, that, that, that's... Welcome to the circus of value! The circus of value! Right, I... <laughs> when I could see all the doors, it all, it all made sense, but now... Now it's, it's just a jumble. Elizabeth, you're, you're bleeding. Now I know what it feels like. All right, if we're gonna find Su Chong, the Silverfin is the place to start. I know the way. Oh, film. He can't be a free man in Are you market. in the know? There has been a lot of idle talk from gadflies and naysayers following the nationalization of Fontaine Futuristics. I believe in free men and free markets. But I also believe in my city. And Frank Fontaine's purpose was nothing less than the destruction of Rapture. It was he who gave comfort to the laggards and layabouts. It was he who coddled the traps and vagabonds. Fontaine was poisoning the people of Rapture, but his venom wasn't made of arsenic or strychnine, no. It was concocted from something far deadlier. It was brewed from Altruism. Now you know. <sighs> Let's see here. Where do I go? Do I go that way? Oh, another film. Yeah, more boring films to watch. Sex or out? Compassion. Are you in the know? In the know? Human reproduction is vitally important to society, but there is no reason that the act of copulation cannot be pleasurable as well. Remember these tips. Sex is egotistical. Without self-esteem, those participating in coitus are revealed to be fraudulent, hypocritical animals. Ego is indispensable in the bedroom. Negotiate with your mate. 
Intercourse can be mutually beneficial to both parties. Set out expectations with your partner beforehand, outlining the services you will provide one another, and hold them to their side of the deal. Never forget, oral contracts and handshake deals are for starry-eyed gigolos. Always get it in writing. Your pleasure is your business. Remember, you come first. Nobody's going to keep an eye on your pleasure except you. Don't be left high and dry. Armed with this knowledge, go forth now and enjoy Sexual Congress the Rapture Way. Now you know. Smooth. Yeah. Now I know. Okay. Okay, so it tends to go this Sounds to go that way, but I'm gonna be an idiot and go over here. I was here as well. Right after I came through, I needed I needed something to wear that was a little more rapture appropriate. Yeah. Oh, better be quiet. There might be people here. There might be some crazy people here. Oh, any crazies, are you? Got any crazies? Oh. What's that right there? I want to get that. But wait. Every room into a peep shop. Peeping Tom. <laughs> ah, Ryan, you perverted bastard. You had this all- you just had this made here. Search wallet. Oh, I didn't know it was searching a wallet. Okay. I'm loving, I'm liking the new lock picking mechanic. Okay. Say one of you. Oh. Puffin. You know, for a moment, I thought it was a, uh, plus- Ooh! Hey. There you are. Oh, hi, you're How many times have I asked Antonio for lockers with actual locks on them? I come back from lunch, and the ensemble I just bought is gone. Stolen! But here's what takes the cake. The thief left an outfit in exchange. At first, I was going to toss that thing, but then I kind of fell in love with it. <laughs> it's an old-timey number with a corset, no less. It ain't exactly today's fashion, but I'm a girl who can tell good craftsmanship when she sees it. Uh-huh. So. Keeping Tom. Disappear from sight. See through walls. And sneak up on your foes. Ah. Ah. Splicers. I could use this plasmid and see them through the walls, or if worse comes to worse, turn completely invisible and get the drop on them. It wasn't really Paris, it was more... It was more the world as I want to see it. I suppose I wasn't really happy there. We'd all be better off, us to wits, if we could leave well enough alone. Oh, lucky okay, I just came in here. Celebrating success. What? What 
Dundee. For Dundee. For Dundee. Oh, Good. shit. Piss. Miss. Who moved my glasses? I really gotta make these uh, shots count. Well, I don't got much to kill. Uh, <clears throat> now we can go in here. Kind of neat. Okay, we made a trip in there for a moment just to grab that plasma. It's known as the Peeping Tom. It's kind of an odd name, but. Ooh. Oh crap, they're all blue. Ah, oh, being compromised. It only seems to be knocking them back. You're only gonna do real damage that way if they don't see you coming. Uh, ah! Uh, you bitch. He's not fat, he's big boned. You bitch. And what now becomes of the girl? A burial at sea, I suppose. I was referring to the child. Why well, ask questions you don't what wish to give the answer to? You mean enslavement, exploitation, extermination. There must be some hope for her. If it helps you to believe so, brother, then I shall not be the one to disillusion you. Okay. Uh, uh okay. For lockers with actual locks on them. I come back from lunch and the ensemble I just bought is gone. Stolen! But here's what takes the cake. The thief left an outfit in exchange. At first I was gonna toss that thing, but then I kinda of fell in love with it. <laughs> it's an old timey number with a corset, no less. It ain't exactly today's fashion, but I'm a girl who can tell good craftsmanship when she sees it. Oh, surprised we didn't see that. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna avoid conversation, avoid conflict with these guys. We're getting out of here. Once I could see everything, every possible moment. And now... You're just like everyone else. Why? Why, because I died here? If I'm just like everyone else, I can't help Sally. I can't even get back to where I was. If you don't mind me asking, love, why are you talking to nobody? If I had pegged you for a loon, I might have had second thoughts on our arrangement. I'll hold up my end, but I better find the girl the way I left her. You're in no position to make demands. But I must confess, I do like a bit of sass in a lass. Uh, 
Big Daddy to see him. Oh. It's, it's the Big Daddy. The one that killed me. You can't trade blows with him. Comstock put him down and he got right back up. Now I can't hurt him. I could keep my distance, but if I watch myself, he could come in handy. Enemy of my enemy. Hey, shit. Damn, I tried to let me know what button was it. Uh, oh. Try to know how you switch uh, plasmids. Yeah. Oh, okay, all bumper. Don't mind me, Dad. Don't mind me, big day. Old man went to. Oh. I'm just honored to be in the competition, and gee, I okay, hope you like me. Another area, another supposed like to go to. Because I'd like nothing more than to be Miss Rapture in 1958. Another area, I'm not supposed. Gosh, there's an awful lot of competition, and they're all so pretty. <laughs> Why a girl can dream just Uh-huh. Ding ding here. So that's an audio log. This fella Atlas has been making the rounds down here, trying to bring some kind of order to this pit. All the splicers think the man walks on water. But something about him smells stink to me. Reminds me a bit of my former employer, Frank Fontaine. Always talking about how he was going to lift Rapture right out of the old man's wallet. No fuss, no muss. See where that got him. Hmm. Let me check this door. What is this door? What do you want? Let me in. I'm working with Atlas. I ain't heard nothing. Nobody gets you in without a kind word from the boss. Uh, I see. That's what Atlas is at. So we gotta go. To, we gotta go to the silver thing. Last one. Uh, don't mind me, big buddy. I'm not. I'm not gonna fight you. I do see some crazy people though that needs to be taken care of. Uh, oh, more crossbow. Yeah, so I'm supposed to be going up here. Hmm. Dead body. What are you? Oh, your combination. The Silver Fin. This used to be a restaurant when I first came through. Now it belongs to this Su Chong. Yeah. Looks like I'm not the first one who tried to get in here. Yeah, At least he left a trail. Oh, uh, they dead. Oh, get me, please. Come on, before I go back. Who is it? Oh wait, I can enter events? No oh, way. Let me try. Give me the cold shoulder. Oh, okay. Ah! Come 
found some found some stuff in here. Medicines on me, people. What's this? Whoa. The more I examine, the more flashback memories I'm gonna get. Step away. I won't shoot you, if, and, you and you won't kill me. Deal? Deal. I think I think me and him are gonna get him on such such fine. Oh, damn. I think I get behind this guy. Nighty night. Let's see. I wanna go in here for a moment. What could be in here? More goodies? Man, that big daddy sounds freaking ferocious. in here? No. Doesn't look like it so far. Unless there's more stuff to examine. Anything any more memories? Nope. Okay, there's no purpose coming in here at all. But there's some stairs that leads upstairs. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Oh, uh, fucking glass makes. I forgot about the glass on the. Damn. Oh, piss, I wasted it. Louie, 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 hey. Louie, Louie. Hey, if you don't get down here soon, there's not going to be an ounce of booze or a piece of ass for the taking. Uh, sometimes I think you've taken this whole Robin Hood business a bit too much to heart. Fontaine's got us out there ladling soup for the purpose of building an army. Not to share the milk of human kindness. You keep up this kind of behavior. I'm gonna start thinking there's more red in you than Karl Marx. What the hell? Splicers. Busting me! Horowitz! Tell Fontaine the permanent compromise! Okay. There's a way up there. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna hide right behind you for a moment. They can't see me anyway. Oh, um, okay, I'm out of time here on this part. Stay tuned for the next part. This has been G. Mario Warren. Until then, farewell. <laughs>